metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal parts about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. Is it that time already? It is! <laughs> Look, everyone! It's almost the new year! Hey, that's awesome! Right. You know what? We should celebrate! Yeah! yeah. Right. <laughs> we should celebrate! <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> Pretty. Welcome to Triton, a moon of Neptune. Triton is by far the coldest thing in our entire uh, solar system. And it's so cold here, it's about 390 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Now that's cold. Okay, press this, and we're set. Someone. Wally, why don't you come celebrate? I don't really feel like it. You guys go ahead. You seem down in the dumps, friend. Let's have a good time. Everything we've discovered in the universe, we've analyzed scientifically. It's like there's an explanation for everything. Well, of course there is. That's our job. We've learned so many different things. That's just it. Seems everything can be explained. We're all made of atoms. We're standing on a planet. The universe is expanding. Nothing is mysterious. I've been waiting for something that can't be explained. A miracle. <laughs> Magic. Wally, the universe has plenty of magic. I think some of it might be right here with us. And his name is... Triton Santa Claus! That's nice, but I was talking about real magic, not just a crow with a beard. <laughs> it's fine. I need to be alone. Hey, wait! You mean this isn't the real Santa? Of course. That's not Carlin. He has a beard. Ho, ho, ho! I have presents for all the good space explorers. What's in here for dear Olga? <sighs> huh? Maybe there is some magic in the universe that Daco just hasn't discovered yet. For once, I should take things into my own hooves. <laughs> 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 Ship. We can't have a tree without 
And wherever I am, it's full of magic. And it's all just so bizarre. I found these crazy life forms. Look, aren't they neat? I know where you've gone, my friend. You're molecular. You've shrunk the ship down to the size of mere molecules. All those life forms you see, those are just the molecules. Molecules? Of course. Some yeah. things are better left yeah. not taken apart. Yeah. Like a shovel. Without a handle, it can't be used. Yeah. And a balloon without air mm. isn't really a balloon mm. anymore. <laughs> and a Christmas tree without lights means a certain ship we know is about to get sheared. But other things are fine if you divide them into parts, especially if they're the same throughout, like pie or cake. Take water, for example, or tea. Liquids are generally the same throughout, so no matter how much you divide it up, it's still the same delicious tea. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't remember inviting you to this party. Water can be divided even into the teeniest drop of water and still be the same. Breaking things up into smaller and smaller parts reveals that they're made of atoms and molecules. Water is made of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. You're telling me all of this I'm seeing has been discovered? Then I'll go smaller! <laughs> I might have messed up. It seems you are possibly inside of an atom. I'm where? An atom! But there's nothing around here at all. It only seems that way. Let me show you. Like I said, molecules are made of atoms. Atoms link together in chemical bonds to form larger and more complex molecules. Atoms are so small that just one drop of water contains five sextillion of them. People first hypothesized atoms might exist in ancient Greece. It comes from a word that means undividable, atomos. Careful there, but they got one thing wrong. Atoms actually can be divided. Atoms are structured kind of like our solar system. They center around a nucleus or star, and that takes up most of the weight of the atom or solar system. The nucleus is made of protons and neutrons, and even though it's a hundred thousand times smaller than the rest of the atom, it takes up 99.9% .9 of its weight. If an atom were the size of a giant building or tower, the nucleus itself wouldn't be any larger than a fly. That may be the reason you can't see anything yet. Atoms have a lot of empty space. Oh, the nucleus! Oh, great. Some miracle this is. Another lecture from Daco about atoms. The problem is, once you look at an atom, it's made up of smaller things, and that is made of smaller things, and so on. Uh, almost. The protons and neutrons are made up of something that scientists call quarks. Quarks are considered the most elementary particle we know of, and, well, that's about it. They're still kind of a mystery. No one's seen one before. So quarks are the end of what we know? You say no one has seen one? Oh, I found my miracle! <laughs> oh, no! There's not enough power to get any smaller than what you are! Get back here right now! I've got two more with a beautiful like Christmas tree! You can't even go! You, you can all shrink away to nothing. Please, Come on, Wally! Wally. Please. Oh, you can't do oh. that! Oh! Wally! Wally! Where are you? Wally! Sweet sauerkraut! <clears throat> um, can you hear me? I just thought it would be a shame, you know, if I came back without seeing a quark. <laughs> ah! But why? It's crazy dangerous! You won't even really see anything! You might lose all contact with and the I ship! I don't really think you can see a photon! Guys, I promise, I'll be really careful. It'll be fine. But why would he do this? If you just give it a few years or so, scientists will have quarks all figured out. That's why I'm doing this. If there's just one thing unknown, maybe that has magic. Wally? Hey, Wally! Don't you dare shrink down again!
Hello? Do you hear me? Wally? Come in! Wally? Why'd he go and do that? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> The time is now zero hours. Happy New Year to the crew. I know you couldn't have seen anything when you were down at Quark Size. Just admit that I was right from the start, all right? Magic isn't real. That's what you think. So you did see something? Tell me what was it like? It was like magic. It was just... miraculous. If only I had the words to describe it. But science is not there yet. The idea that atoms look like solar systems was first invented by Ernest Rutherford, who won the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1908. Murray Gelman was an American scientist who first had the idea that there were things even smaller than protons and neutrons. For his idea of quarks, he won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1969.